Taser deployed. Shot fired. Hey. Ow. 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 Oh god, there's a shit ton of them. It's in Lincoln 2199. Oh god. Headed towards Route 68. In pursuit of a uh, gray corridor uh, sedan. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. That looks like a street race getting ready to happen, don't it? Anyway, today we're headed out with the uh, Mirror Park Police Department, uh, checking out this awesome vehicle. Uh, this is an older but great vehicle from Robert TM, uh, originally from a Polito Bay police pack. Uh, these new skins are based on uh, Beckley, West Virginia, and were made for me by uh, DS Kirkman. So uh, I do appreciate him for that. They are reflective. I'm sure we'll see that. I've been posting screenshots of these a lot. I've been looking forward to using them, too. But uh, I don't think we've ever done a nighttime and a raining episode. And so, uh, you know, in conjunction with our attempting to fuck around with the light levels and get things uh, visible for everybody on a, a pleasing basis, I figured, hell, let's just try something difficult. So uh, hopefully everything looks good for you guys. Um, obviously, if, 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 if there's concerns, let me know in the comments or join the Discord and talk to me about it. See what we can do. But uh, beyond that, I got nothing else. We're going to head out this uh, kind of rainy night and see what we can get into. Let's go ahead and get started. We have a disturbance Missing person. Okay. Uh, let's see. The caller is waiting for you at the location response code 2. All right. Uh, it's a mirror. Missing person on Bridge Street. All right. Let's go down here and see what this is about. I don't know where this guy is going. Maybe he's going to the same call we are. Come on, man. Let's go. Hey, partner. Get out of the way. All right. I'm going to go around you because you're dumb. I don't know who you are, but you're dumb. All right. Till like a 21. You can show me out. Let's park right here, I guess. All right. Let's go see what this is all about. Again, I don't know why I'm walking like I have a big stick up my butt, but oh well. That's, that's, that's actually better now. All right, cool. I think this is our house right here. Okay, let's ring the doorbell. Hello, Mirror Park Police. No, it looks like they're asking us to come inside. Okay. Hey, everybody. God damn, y'all are blazing it in here. How you doing? I'm Officer Devin, Mirror Park Police Department. Did you call for us? Yeah, my son is missing. My my car as well. Can you tell me where they went missing? When they went missing? I don't know. I just got. I just came home and I noticed it. Do you have any more information about the car and your son? Of course, my son is named Frank, and there's a photo. Of him, uh, there's a photo of him in the room behind you. Thanks for the info. I'll take a look. What about the car, homie? All right, let's see here. There's a photo of Frank in here. Let's see here. Okay, so Frank is a white male, uh, red or blonde hair, white shirt, red belt, plaid shorts. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. All units, we have a motor vehicle accident. For All right, man. Person. Well, listen, we're gonna we're gonna try to find Frank. Okay. Uh, we'll be in contact with you as soon as we know anything. I'll have a detective contact you. So. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and go back outside. Looks like they want us to go to this. Uh, MVA as well, so we'll head out there now. Get turned around here. Ten like a twenty one, you can show me around to that MVA. I think I see it right here, it's that red car there, I think. Yeah. 10 Lincoln 21, I'm on scene of that MVA. Copy that. We need to close the road. Attention all units. Sir? Sir, can you hear me? Are you okay? Looks like Frank, doesn't it? Sir, can you hear me? Oh, my head, I can't think straight. Let's see here. I did press Y. There we go. I'm not doing nothing. Sir, are you okay? Why don't you step out of the car, man? Let me help you out of the car, okay? 
to Lincoln 21, can you start me an ambulance? ambulance. Actually, I think we're going to need to do that through stop the pad. So, all right, man, can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me what happened, man? Uh, actually, I really can't do that. I need to get that for a accident investigation thing. We got we got medics coming to check you out, man. Okay, you're gonna be all right. Okay, I'm gonna do this now. Doesn't seem like he's a. What's your name, dude? What's your name, buddy? Your this is Frank. We we can tell by the description. Thanks. So, okay, Frank. All right, Frank. Well, listen, man. Uh, we're gonna get you to the hospital. We're gonna have a detective come down and talk to you, man. Your dad's wondering where you are. Okay. So we're gonna try to figure that out. Let's go ahead and get another uh, ambulance out here. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up real quick so that ambulance has less trouble getting out of here, hopefully. Of course, they're coming from the other way, so... If they're coming at all... There they are. Okay. All right, Frank, why don't you just have a seat on the ground if your head hurts, man? I know it's wet, but you'll, you'll probably feel better if you sit down, okay? All right. See, does it have a front plate? 10 Lincoln 21, can you run a plate? It's a Tampa, David Robert Ocean, 8512. Target license plate, David Robert Ocean, 8512. Let's do a Christopher Porter. Looks like they're going to take him. Proceed with caution. They brought their uh, rush bag and everything. All right, so they're taking David to the hospital. Uh, let's go ahead and run his name before he leaves, just out of curiosity, really. Was his name date? No. Okay, I already lost him. All right, that's fine, though. So they're going to take him off to the hospital, and then we'll go back down and inform his dad that he's at the hospital and maybe offer him a ride there and all that good stuff. We'll get this car towed out of the road, and then, uh... Oh, it actually wants us to do that. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're going to let the medics clear off here. I didn't see the waypoint. I didn't realize it wanted us to do that. But we'll get a tow truck out here for this thing. Hopefully they just drive straight forward. Wow, they did something intelligent for once. 10 Lincoln 21, I need a tow truck. Right, so we've got a flatbed out here with this thing. It looks like it's pretty effed up, so. Here comes the tow truck down the other way here. Didn't even hit the ambulance, that's great. So we'll go ahead and let it pick up this, and then, yeah. Well, actually, we should probably leave our lights on just for traffic advisory purposes. Once they've got that out of the road, all right, cool. We're going to head back down and let... Um, let uh, let the gentleman know about his son that he's alive, but he is on his way to the hospital. Attention all units. Traffic control. So good thing he's alive, and I'm glad we we're able to find him. You know, um, that uh, that's good. At least he's okay. It didn't seem like he was critically injured, so he should end up being uh, he should end up being okay. Let's go ahead and just pull back up here. We'll park right here actually this time. All right. Tell Lincoln 21, you can show me back out at my RP's house. Uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up on that uh, on that missing person. Acknowledged. All right, let's go ahead and head back up here and talk to the gentleman. Hey, sir. Uh, I don't know if you remember me or not. I'm Officer Devin, uh, Muir Park Police. We spoke earlier about your missing son. Hey, uh, we found your son. He was headed. He's headed to the hospital right now. Thank you so much, Officer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to head there, too. You have a nice day. Yeah, uh, if you want to ride or anything, man, I can go ahead and give you that. But if not, if you want to drive there, just drive safe, okay? So, all right, cool. Well, we're going to get out of here before we get another contact high and head back out to our patrol car. And uh, we're code four. We're going to get back on the road. So, uh, yeah, let's see what else this shift has for us. That bike looked like he was kind of hauling ass. Turn around and see if we can find him. There he is. Who rides a motorcycle in a rain like this anyway? That's too far away from me anyway. 10 Lincoln 21, can you run a plate? See, because he's driving all slow now that he knows we're following him. It's, uh, got, got no light here. It's got an expired license. We're going to light him up. 
A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. I'm quite sure he was driving very fast. I didn't clock him and I probably won't write him for it. But that's the only reason I'm bothering to stop him. Alright man, you need to move up some more here. You're gonna need to be like up there. Hey, stupid shit! You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Still like a 21, I'll be on a stop. Move them up a little bit more, actually. Just so in case we need to call for another unit, we they can get in behind us. All right. Yeah, we don't really need that. It's pretty well lit right here. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here. It is a Vindicator, as we knew. Nora Queen Robert five five four seven. It's valid and clear to a Jason Harris. Jason does have an expired license. Jason is an astronaut. It's because he put his helmet on. Um does have quite a few speeding see look he's got a speeding charge from a year a little over a year ago uh and then driving without headlights okay cool he's only 44 days expired so might not even write him a ticket let's go out and talk to him and see hey my dude how you doing tonight my name is officer devin bureau park police department do you have your id proof insurance all that good stuff on you sir strong smell of narcotics coming off of him so we do have Jason here. All right, Jason. Let's go ahead and just see here. Hey, I just want to let you know my body cam's recording, okay? You better make sure it's on. I want this to be recorded. Absolutely, man. My uh, my dash cam's on, too. So do you know why I pulled you over today, bub? Oh, you're just going to give me the finger. All right, cool. Well, I wasn't going to give you a ticket, but uh, anyway. Uh, the reason I the reason I pulled you over today, man, is one, uh, when you passed me back there on the street, you were, uh, you were definitely traveling over the speed limit. You didn't realize that? Oh, okay, all right, cool. And the other problem here is, are you aware that your license is expired? Yeah, but this guy I met at the Bay Bar wants you to come over. All right, man, well, I mean, unfortunately, you're driving on an expired license, so, um, where'd you say you were headed to, man? You going to see a friend? Oh, okay. All right, cool, cool. Uh, here's my question, man, is, um, kind of, kind of smell like you've been using narcotics lately, man. Maybe smoking a little weed or something, man. Is, it, is, that, is that the case? You ain't telling me nothing? All right, that's fine, dude. Why don't you go ahead and step off the bike for me? Telling a 21, start me a second unit. Do you really want me to take you off this bike, dude? Like, do you really want me to take you off this bike? Because I will, but I really prefer if you just uh, if you just got off the bike yourself. Just, just get off the fucking bike, dude. That was a smart move that you just made there, Jason. Go ahead, turn around and put your hands around your back for me. I am going to detain you at this point. Now you're under arrest. Taser deployed. Affirmative. Stop, Jason. Stop. Lay on the ground. Yes. Stop, dude. Lay on the ground. Jason, lay the fuck down, dude. All right. Now don't move, man. Don't move, dude. Put your hand on your back. Put your hand on your back right now. Like a 21, I got one in custody. I tell you, man, I sure did appreciate the backup that got here quickly for me. All right, man, come on. Step over here by my vehicle. At this point in time, you're under arrest for obstruction. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you can't afford one. Only appoint you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights, Jason? Okay. Very good. Do you have anything illegal on it you'd like to tell me about? Oh, okay. All right. All right. You were very respectful, and then you very much weren't. All right, dude. Hold still. There we go. My backup unit got stuck, it looked like. A legit FIB badge, a pair of work gloves, a facade smartphone, a photo of a Rob's liquor store, bank card, and Alcoholics Anonymous coin. <laughs> okay. Uh, a pocket digital camera and a repailed receipt. All right. So I guess he stopped drinking and just started using drugs. I don't know. That's not really an improvement, so. All right, man. Why do you have this badge on? Well, all right, man. You can talk to me. Okay. All right, man. Why don't we get in the car, dude? I don't want you getting soaked. Wouldn't want you to get sick or anything. We'll get in the car and we'll talk, okay? Go ahead and have a seat in the car. They don't have anything illegal on him, though. I want to know about that FIB badge. And I want to go see if he's got, like... You know, a space shuttle or something in his uh, in his bike.
there we go. So he's got a vine with liquor receipt. So I guess he is kind of not on the um, he is kind of not on the uh, the band or the wagon anymore. Twenty four seven store corn dog, uh, Portola Trinity Medical Center staff. We 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 we've been running into a lot of uh people who work at hospitals. Of course, hospitals are usually the largest employers within within areas. So yeah, that makes sense. A small baggie with thirty eight grams of marijuana. That's probably what he was smoking. And then two full thirty out six Springfield rifle clips. Okay. All right, cool. So there's the there's the baggie of the weed. I'm not even offered the chance to take a field sobriety test because you know, he's in cuffs now, so doesn't matter. Hi, right, Jason. It's only like a 21. I need a tow truck. I'm not gonna give him the opportunity to have a friend come get it. I don't really care. He'd be kind of an asshole anyway. All right, Jason. So. What's the deal with this, uh, what's the deal with this FIB badge, man? What do you have this for? It's your, it was your wife's, you use it to scare off creepers? Okay, well, you can't have this, man. We're going to either get this back to your wife or, or, you know, we'll get it back to the FIB and they can do what they want to do with it because you definitely can't have this, my guy. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, run his name again. I want to make sure, I know we already ran his name, I want to make sure, yeah, no, he's not coming up as a police officer. I just wanted to be sure. So, all right, cool. Well, I guess that's it for him then. So let's just go ahead and charge him real quick because it'll be pretty easy. So, first of all, we're looking at um, we're looking at OBI first offense. Uh, in this case, will be for narcotics. So the breath, you know, the refusal to breath test and all that stuff wouldn't count. Uh, and then we're also looking at resisting arrest or actually obstruction. That'd be a misdemeanor two obstruction of official business. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna charge him for the marijuana. I don't feel like figuring out what ounces to grams is. But, uh, yeah, I'd have to do, I'm, i hold on, let, let me just look and see. I, I think it's a minuscule amount. I don't think it's enough to actually charge it. We never charge people for weed. There's a reason for that. But, uh, let's see here. So what was that? 38 grams to, so 38 grams to ounces. It's 1.3 ounces. So he is under the 3.5 ounces required for even a, minor misdemeanor so all right cool uh not a big deal so yeah the only time i'm gonna charge people for marijuana is if it's trafficking so i think that's it for him oh uh, well actually could piss me off seeing someone property not impersonation though he didn't try to say he was a cop or anything like that so all right cool uh, so we'll that. go ahead and uh there's a jail right there Ten like a 21 you can show me in route to the jail with one so we'll go ahead and just head around right down here to the uh to the county jail, or not, not to the county jail, but to uh, the Vinewood jail, drop off our subject, and then uh, we'll get back into Mirror Park, and we'll get back on the road. Uh, All right, so we got reports of a person brandishing a weapon up here, so we're going to head up here and see if we can, uh, apparently that guy doesn't want to help, maybe he's going off duty. We're going to head up here and see if we can locate that person. 10 Lincoln 21, I'm in the area, start me more units. I don't see anybody here with weapons. 10 Lincoln 21, start me more units. Thank you. Alright, I don't see anybody out here. I guess we're going to get out and look around on foot. Yeah, just bully your way right through there, guys. Grab out our rifle. Alright, let's see if we can... See if we can find our guy here. I think I see him back there. Yeah, no, that's probably not him. I 100% told it to spawn me with a flashlight and an optic and everything on my weapon, and it just didn't. So that's great. I guess we're using our handgun instead. No, those are not people. Those are deer. All right. All right. around out here. I don't know why, but all of a sudden it's not spawning me with uh it's not spawning me with attachments on my rifle like it should be. And it might be because I'm using the Lux texture, honestly. Because it does I think it works with um when I'm not using the Lux texture on, on weapons, so I didn't see any weapons of that group of people and they weren't acting like they were scared or anything, so. We're just 
going to search the area out here. There's nobody here. We'll just call it unfounded. See anybody anywhere? I mean, if I was actually searching this area, I would like you know, look behind all these containers and all that shit too. If we were looking for somebody, but that would take forever. Here, what the hell is this guy doing? He set off somebody's. Uh, he set off somebody's alarm there. Imagine these are the people who called. Go over and talk to them. I need to get some questions made up for like you know. This, no, they're just hanging out in this house. Y'all really don't need to be here. But I'm not really interested in fucking with that right now. There's a lot of. I'm just gonna tell them all to fucking leave. I think. I'm gonna check any IDs or anything. We're just gonna get them all out of here. Well, I'm not fucking seeing anybody with a weapon out here. All right, I think that's going to pretty much do it for this call. Could have been a prank call from one of them or something. Could just be the person's moved on out of the area. I sure as shit ain't seen anybody out here. That's a rabbit. There's another rabbit up the hill. All right. 10 Lincoln like 21, I think this call is unfounded. There's nobody out here. Copy that. We're going to be making contact with a group of kids in one of the houses making a move on. Copy that. There's a lot of them out here. Alright. Everybody out here needs to disperse. You have no business out here in these construction... Yeah, go on. Hey, go home. Get out of here. Go home. So, get out of here. Go home. Take care. So, all right, everybody needs to disperse. Uh, she's got a drink. We're going to talk to her. Are right, you smoking the cigarette? Disperse. Be safe. Yeah, there goes another one. Yep, they're starting to figure it out. You with the beer bottle. Let's talk for a second. What's your name? Let me see your ID. You got your Hello. ID? Let me see your ID. Thanks. All right, what's her name? Uh, 78. She's definitely old enough. Tell like a 21. Can you run one by name and date of birth? Make sure she doesn't have a warrant or anything. No, she's clear. All right, go home. You don't need to be here. Dump, dump that Again. beer out and go home. All right. Fuck this shit. Yeah, whatever. Go drink somewhere more intelligent. It's fucking pissing down rain out of here. Go home. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is basically what I'm going to be spending the next hour doing is getting rid of these guys. Shit. Oops, I don't want my phone. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, what the fuck? There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh, once I get all these kids cleared out of here, we'll go ahead and get back on the road. Alright, so we're headed out to check the area around the casino for a suspicious vehicle. It's reported as a, uh, a blue surge. Uh, it might be down on the highway, but I want to see if it's actually up here on the, uh, up here on the road that runs by the casino. And there it is, just sitting in the middle of the road, actually. 10 Lincoln 21, I've got that suspicious vehicle. We're right in the middle of Vinewood Park Drive. Go ahead and start me another unit. On and uh, close the road. We need to close the road. There we go. They're in there. I see him. He's sitting in there drinking. Here comes that other unit. I'm going to go ahead and just spawn them. They got stuck over in this area last time. Who we got? We got Vinewood with us? Nope. Los Angeles County Sheriff's. All right, cool. Appreciate the sheriff's coming out. Do you see him just sitting in the car drinking, man? All right. Let's go up and talk to him. I really don't think we need our flashlight, actually. Oh, well, I guess we got it. Hey! Hey! Get out of the car, man! Come here! What are you doing just... What? No! What are you doing just sitting in the middle of the road drinking, man? I love the raindrops on the cars from, uh, from Quant. That is so cool looking. I wish it did it with the add-on cars, too, but I know why it doesn't. Anyway, come on, man. Let's step out of the road, dude. Come on. Let's go over here. This dude's drunk. Look at him stumbling. Alright. Cool. So what are you doing, man? What are you... What are you doing, homie? 
How dare you ask me? Well, okay. Let me let me let me explain to you why I'm asking you this. Okay. I I I think once I explain it, you you'll understand. See, the reason I'm asking you this is you are sitting in your car or in a car in the middle of Vinewood Park Drive drinking some vodka. I saw it. Don't even try to deny it. That's why I'm asking you what you're doing, man. How much have you had to drink tonight? And don't deny you've been drinking, because I know you have. This is just a mixed drink or two, and whatever you were chugging out of that bottle of vodka, right? So, all right, how... Well, I don't care how long ago his last drink was. Do you have anything illegal on you, man? Might have some pills on you. Okay, why don't you go ahead and turn around and face away from me. I'm going to pass you down checking for weapons, okay? Turn around, put your hands up in the air for me. Just be cool, all right? So he's got a green bandana, a blood glucose meter, a far right wing pamphlet, three five gram baggies of brown powder, uh, a pawn and jewelry receipt, and a medical marijuana patient card. This is uh, Henry Blackwell. All right, Henry. So obviously we're just checking him for weapons. So we we probably don't know we like we don't know that's a far right wing pamphlet. We so he's got some paper, um, and all that stuff. But based on the fact that we can feel that these little baggies of powder. This is going to go ahead and let us, you know, go ahead and do a search. That's going to be probable cause, um, since these would appear to be narcotics to us. So, all right, man, go ahead and put your hand on your back for me. At this point in time, I'm detaining you, okay? I'm detaining you because I believe these, uh, this brown powder is narcotics, all right? I just want you to be cool. Don't do anything dumb. All right, man, that's cool. 10, like a 21. I've got one detained. Oh, man, I'm going to have you have a seat in the back of my car here. Hey, buddy. Thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. I'm good now. I've got him in custody. I just didn't know what was going on with that, man. If you want to get out of here, that's fine with me. I appreciate you, Sheriff. Those cars are the same, uh, use the same livery as the Chumash cars. They just say Sheriff on them and have different light bars. So that's a Taurus and a, uh, 2014 Ford, uh, or a 2014 Charger. Uh, on the other hand, though, but I'm not going to get to use them in an episode soon because I've got a pack from West Coast Wookie that I want to test here real soon. Uh, based on San Diego County, and uh, I think it's going to be real sweet. So, till like a 21, can I get a tow truck? All right. Towed lots of vehicles tonight. Once they're here, we'll go ahead and open up the road. He's coming out. Maybe they were, you know, maybe they were in there looking for vehicles to repo, and that's why they're uh, they're coming out of the uh, the casino. So, till like a 21, we can open up the road. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and run this guy's name. We gotta test this, uh, we gotta test this powder, too. He's 18. He's got a, uh, he's got no priors. So that doesn't count. I need to, I, I think, I wish there was a way to stop him from coming up as priors, but I don't think there currently is. So, alright, cool. What we're gonna do, uh, actually, pull down here, and then up under this awning. And the reason we're gonna do that is so I can be dry while I get out and check this powder. There we go. Alright, man, sit tight. Alright, actually, let's do this. Alright, man, so, do you want to talk to me about this powder I found on you? Let's see here. Do you want to talk to me about this powder I found on you, man? Not out here? Well, we're under an awning at the casino, so I think it's totally fine, dude. Do you want to tell me about this powder or what, man? It's just baking powder? Okay. Alright, it's particularly bright up here, so I'm sorry about that. So. All right, let's just see what this powder is. All right, let's see. We got five. Uh, he's got three five grams. So that's 15 grams of whatever this is. Let's see if it's meth. Yeah, it looks like it's not meth. Is it heroin? It's been heroin a lot lately again. Yeah, it's heroin. All right, so he's got 15 grams of heroin on. All right, cool. I'm going to get this guy charged, and then uh, I think we're going to do one more. So uh, we'll get back out there and see what we can get into. Citizens reporting an 11351. Okay. Code Being attacked by a wild animal, huh? All right, let's down here and see what that's all about. Up there where we told those kids to leave from. Hopefully they're not back out there, I swear. One of them gets attacked by a wild animal after we told them to leave, I swear. 10, like, and 21, I'm in the area. 
person right there. Yeah, there's a fucking mountain lion right there. I have to use my handgun on it. I don't have a shotgun, so. Dispatch, you better start animal control. I think it's down. I think it's down. I feel awful having to shoot an animal, man. Let's go ahead and get animal control here. Assistance required. 10 like 21. Can you start me another unit? Actually, let's do this. I want a unit to come out here and sit with this body. For uh, I gotta come over here and do this. For animal control. Oh, come on. I wanna go try to catch up with our victim there. Alright, animal control's here. He don't need us. Turn around here. Look at that sick turn. Till like a 20. I'm gonna be trying to track down our, uh, our, uh, our victim here. Acknowledged. There she is, right down this road, it looks like. Another unit looking for her. There she is. Lady! It's okay. You can stop now. It's dead. Hey, come here. Come here. Stop. Stop. Lady, I swear to God, just, just stop. Just stop. Stop. It's okay. You're okay. No, you don't have to. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's fine. Just lay down in the puddle. You're okay. Put your hand around your back real quick. You're okay. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. Okay. Tell like a 21. I got caught up with our victim here. Stand by. Oh, she appears okay. Wonder if she's on LSD and uh, thought she was having a bad trip, but it turned out she actually did get attacked by a mountain lion. So. Alright. Alright, ma'am. Come on. I'm going to get you out of these handcuffs in just a second, okay? We're going to go right back over here. Actually, we're going to go back to the scene, really. So. Alright, ma'am. Is there a point in going back to the scene? No, there really isn't, so go back and talk to the animal control officer. All right, ma'am, stand right here, okay? I'm gonna release you. I'm gonna take these handcuffs off you, okay? You're gonna hang out here, but I'm gonna take these cuffs off you, okay? All right, you're not in any trouble. I just need you to stop what I told you to, okay? All right, so listen, what's your name, okay? You got your ID? Appreciate it. Right, this is Heather Hills. Haven't we dealt with Heather Hills recently? Dispatch, can you run a name? Heather, are you okay? Can you tell me what happened? Let's see here. No, oh, she's valid and clear. Okay. Heather, are you okay? Do you need to see a medic or anything? Yes? You you do want to see a medic? Okay. All right, Heather. We're going to go ahead and get a medic out here for you, okay? Let's go ahead and just get an ambulance out here for her. Dispatch, can you go ahead and just start me a medic out here, please? All right, so... All right, Heather, here comes here, here comes the medic, okay? They're going to take you to the hospital, all right? We're going to walk you out to the road where they can get to you easily, okay? Just right out here. Here we go. You stand right here. They'll be able to get to you with no problem. Oh, I thought I removed that skin. Crazy. Oh, well. Oh, they're both wearing their safe life vest today. That's cool. Guys drove all the way here from Las Vegas to get this chick? That's cool. All right. Well, they're going to go ahead and take her, it looks like. I don't know why they're stuck, but... I don't know if I can help them or not, so... All right, well, cool. Uh, it looks like he just is confused, and uh, he, he just can't get a grip on the uh, on the stretcher there. But anyway, I guess we'll, uh, we'll drive back up here real quick and make sure the animal resource officer doesn't need anything from us. Yeah, just go ahead, man. It's no problem. I wasn't turning around or nothing. So, we'll let the uh, the ambulance guys figure themselves out. Drive back up here and make sure that he got it dealt with okay. Usually I would have just hung out on scene there, but I wanted to get caught up with our victim who had herself a major psycho freak out. So, yeah, it looks like he got off scene. He didn't even take the body. Animal control didn't even take the fucking body. All right, whatever. All right, I'll call him back out. But anyway, I think that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. So, we'll go ahead and... Uh, and we'll go ahead and do the court thing. All right, so we actually only have two people to do court with today. We had uh, Jason Aris, who was our uh, gentleman riding the bike. Uh, I thought he was speeding. I actually went back and looked. I did clock him for an instant at 47 miles per hour. It would be 25 on that street, I'm sure. So that's, what, 25, 35, 45. So he's like 22 over. 
So, uh, yeah. But uh, that's not even why we stopped him. We actually stopped him for his expired license. Uh, turned out he was also under the influence. Uh, we found some marijuana joints on the bike. He smelled like marijuana. So that's where the OVI first events comes from. Now, obviously, the uh, refusal to blow or any of that stuff wouldn't come in because he wasn't drunk. He was high. Obstruction. He tried to run off from us when we went to put him in handcuffs. And then uh, receiving stolen property. He had a F FIB, or F yeah, FIB badge on him that apparently belonged to his mother. Uh, and he's looking at four months, um, three-month license suspension for the driving, uh, four months in prison for having his mother's badge. So um, if it really was his mother, I mean, who knows where he really got it from, you know? Uh, and then what else did we deal with today? We dealt with an unfounded call and ran a bunch of kids off out of that housing project or development out there on uh, on Utopia Parkway. Uh, then uh, what else did we do? We had the Cougar and the Cougar. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, what was our first call? Our first call was... Um, I honestly can't remember what our first call was, but oh well. Uh, then we had Henry Blackwell, who was our gentleman who was drinking the, um, who was drinking in the middle of the road out there on uh, Vinewood Park Drive. Um, we ended up charging him with OVI first events and possession of heroin. Uh, I thought I had a charge for obstructing traffic, but I guess I don't. So uh, I I need to look into that. But anyway, oh he was oh he was underage too. I just realized that. So we could have also charged him with underage consumption. Another thing I actually need to add to these charges. I don't have one right now, but I gotta get that in there. So anyway. Uh, he's still looking at a three-month suspension, and also uh, he got two years on that heroin. So he's looking at two years, two and a half years. That's not bad, just for. I mean, maybe, maybe if you don't want to go to prison, you maybe don't park your car in the middle of a road and drink vodka. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what 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 people do sometimes is amazing to me. But anyway, I hope everybody yeah, enjoyed this episode of Dem Plays LSPD with these Florida. awesome skins based on Beckley, Perfect. West Virginia. Uh, um, to, no the reflections on these are, are sweet. I'll probably keep these around for a while. Um, Maybe look for some new uniforms, but uh, I love these cars. So, anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. And as always, y'all stay safe out there, okay?